We were all excited that he's coming. <laughs> when Matt Damon comes to town, you can't really blame folks for getting excited. The movie Stillwater is filming in towns like Arcadia and Coil, where the film built sets, spent money, and made a donation to local schools. That's Damon there in the hard hat and work vest posing with first responders. And that's him there enjoying a steak at Cattleman's in Oklahoma City. Without that rebate, does that Matt Damon movie get shot? No chance. Local filmmaker Lance McDaniel is a big fan of the Oklahoma Film Enhancement Rebate Program. Up to $8 million a year given to film and TV productions shooting in Oklahoma. I think the way the industry works right now, a rebate is necessary for people to even look at your state as a filming location. McDaniel himself has benefited from the rebate. He says it's just like every other major industry these days. If you want to attract business, you have to sweeten the deal. And this deal gives 35% back on money spent in Oklahoma and on Oklahoma cast and crew. So every crew member from Oklahoma, you get a rebate and everyone that's not, you get nothing. These are multi-billion dollar companies. But not everyone is a fan. They don't need Oklahomans' hard-earned dollars. Jonathan Small is president of the Oklahoma Council of Public Affairs. He calls the rebate program a waste of taxpayer money. When you believe in free markets, you can only arrive at a Hollywood subsidy being the wrong thing for Oklahomans. And Small is not alone. A state commission reviewed this incentive program in 2016 and suggested that the film rebate not be renewed. That it, quote, does not provide sustainable economic development and provides little return on investment to the state. But state lawmakers did not just renew it. They doubled it from $4 million to eight. In a year where we finally had extra revenue, that they spent time passing a subsidy for Hollywood that had been recommended by experts to eliminate. It's a very competitive marketplace right now. Tava Malloysofsky runs the State Film and Music Office. She says they have clear evidence the rebate is paying off. Film-related spending and wages in Oklahoma up over 1,200 percent since 2012. Film-related jobs up over 1,300 percent. And 2019 is their biggest year yet. 32 movies and TV shows shot in Oklahoma, a state record. They're spending nine times out of 10, they're reinvesting whatever. If there's the rebate, they're reinvesting that back into their next project. Sofsky says film and TV productions have pumped $110 million into the local economy in the last five years alone. And that does not include what the cast and crew are spending in their free time. The director went into an antique store and asked her, you know, how does your business change when we're when a movie production's in town? And she said, I have made more money this month in January than I did the whole previous year. Oh, yeah, those antique stores in Guthrie, they love it when movies come through. Now, most of the recipients of this rebate, all, I'll be honest, I've never even heard of these things. For every big budget Matt Damon film, there's a lot more small productions where the budgets are tight and this rebate really helps. But guys, opponents say still, it should not be up to the hard paying taxpayers to help pay for any of these films, no matter if it's a big budget or a small budget. It's a debate. Maybe we'll see a movie about it someday. <laughs>